What are the biggest holidays in Ukraine? Of course, it is a New Year, Christmas and Easter. They are considered to be family holidays and according to what canons uh, it is necessary to celebrate this or that holiday. So, Evgenia, when we start celebrate uh, Christmas, uh, what is the date uh, of uh, uh, when we do that in Ukraine? We usually spend it with family around the festive table. Uh, it start, we start actually celebrating it on January 6th and finish it on January 7th. And it's very important to celebrate it because uh, that's the part of our culture. Uh, what preparations do usually people do on Christmas Eve? On Christmas Eve you cook at least 12 dishes because you, you need to add meat and honey and sweets because you need to sweeten the whole holiday. Also you need to get a lot of... Um, you need to have sweets for kids because uh, they, we always have a lot of kids in uh, our homes and we have a lot of people around our table with family. So sweets are the best things on Christmas Eve. What Christmas traditions do Ukrainians have and follow uh, on this day? Christmas carols, kutya, is like the main thing in, on Christmas. Usually a lot of kids who are not the part of a family, they come, in, uh, come to your place and they knock on the door and they sing carols and you always need to give them an opportunity to give them a lot of sweets because it, it just doesn't it just does make sense in our country when you were a kid uh, what kind of presents did you receive and um, did you receive many presents or just a few and just small ones uh, simple ones uh, just some specifics of your family celebration my family is huge so we usually gather around the huge table and for me sweets and the atmosphere and pretty interesting situation around that time but the family is the main thing and the, the best present also you get that feeling that your dreams are going to be true uh, at that at some point and it just makes you feel comfortable and my childhood was the best <laughs> And uh, what uh, will you do if your future husband will ask you to celebrate Christmas uh, with him and his family on December 25th? Uh, would you agree to that? Would you celebrate with him or will you refuse or will you have double celebration like in December and in January? What is your decision in this case? We can celebrate it twice or we can just make it like a one huge celebration. But at this point, if it's important for me and for my future husband, I agree on having a double celebration, so it seems fun. I believe uh, multicultural uh, marriage has a great uh, advantages in this attitude. Uh, so at the end of our conversation, I would like to ask you what would you wish uh, on the eve of this big holiday to our foreign, uh, foreign men and their families? Your wishes. <laughs> I hope you're gonna find your love in this day and I hope you're gonna have a good health because the, the year was uneasy. I hope that your dreams will come true and to have a big family around a big huge table. <laughs> I agree with you, Evgenia. This year was difficult for everyone and it uh, somehow it changed our life. Uh, and I hope this year will end up and all our wishes that we make on this New Year celebration and Thanksgiving and Christmas will make true. And next year will bring us love, prosperity, God blessings and all the best things of life. So we would be happy to see you guys in our country, in our city, beautiful Kiev, with many beautiful ladies such as Evgenia. And we will uh, do everything we can to help you to find your love, to change your life for better, to have a strong family relationship and to build a new stage of your life. Please come to us and subscribe to our channel and follow our news. See you!